This is one of the wildest queen sacrifice in chess history in my opinion. This game is between two chess masters, not very famous, but both of them are chess masters, Luban Popov and Yuri Troinov. They are around 24-2500 players and features uh, Sicilian and defense, Fischer souls in attack. Let's go to the game. This is a Sicilian, a standard Sicilian, e4, c5, and uh, open Sicilian. And at this position, white plays bishop c4. This is called Fischer souls in attack. Uh, this move was known before Fischer, but Fischer made it popular and enjoyed playing it a lot. And it's uh, standard to play my e7 and uh, e7, e6 to defend the pawn or to make establish a good pawn structure. And both sides castle and further develop. And uh, black prevents white's knight to jump in. And here the plan of white is clear. White wants to rewrote the queen to go to the h file or g file and uh, attack to the king side of the uh, black. Additionally, have option of pushing all pawns forward, destroying pawn structure of black in the king side. For example, at some point plays f5, g4, f5, and this moves. g4, g5, even that depends to the situation. And black usually this uh, in such games plays queen side. But in this case, black played uh, d5. This is a very strange move by black. It, I, I really don't get the idea behind it. Maybe the idea of black was to bring in the knight in, or black thought that white will grab, uh, capture the pawn. But white doesn't need to capture the pawn. But, uh, when you want to attack to one flank, it's good to close the center. And this is exactly what white did. And this is not just closing the center. It's also pushing back the knight, one of the strongest defenders. And it's not just closing the center and pushing back the knight. It's also gaining one tempo. One very important tempo that you see where it is important. And queen jumps in for free. I mean, usually you do many moves to many maneuvers to arrive to the position that queen is on such a good spot you can reroute the bishop later to the c2 to invite the score bishop to c2 and attack the weak h7 pawn you can push your pawns g4 g5 and so on there are many options for white so uh, right now it's very good position already and for whatever reason black was scared or what but it Rook e8. Uh, I tried to understand why black played there. I thought maybe black wants to play bishop f8 or anything or knight uh, knight f8 to defend the h7 pawn. Well, uh, that's natural to play knight f8, but uh, the f7 spot is a weak spot and it wasn't easy to see actually. It wasn't all fault of black. The story starts from here. First, white grabs the pawn. You grab the central pawn, that's cool. The, what black can do, black should definitely take back, otherwise black is down development, going down central pawn, there is no way to survive this game. And what else you can do? Can you capture this pawn right now? Now, what's the compensation? Capturing this pawn is really bad because black comes to the play right now. The bishop that was um, suffocated by the, its own knight and um, pawns is open. Black, black's white escort bishop is wide open. And your bishop is under attack and um, you cannot do anything. The f7 pawn is not weak anymore because your bishop cannot capture it and knight can go to g6. If you don't take the knight, so for example, if you take the knight, then we take the bishop and we're happy. So this is very bad for white. What's the compensation then? You give up a complete piece. The cool part of a story is this. Give up the queen. See how deep was white. 
First gives of the knight, then gives of the queen for just three pawns, like queen and knight for three pawns. This is very amazing. And here, white uh, black goes up, and engine doesn't like this move. Engine says that black should go down, but going down doesn't help him because first this is a check, then this is a discovery check, giving up a queen, and then if you try to escape, there is no escape room actually. We have this discovery check forever, we want. And if you get closer, we even can capture the rook. No, no white is much better than black. It doesn't matter if you grab the knight or not. White is much better than black. It has, no, uh, is a piece down, but exchange up and three pawns up, and um, the whole pieces are well developed. This is easy win. So, black didn't go for the line that engine likes. Instead, black goes up and then the white delivers the first and maybe the only reasonable check to the black king black king has nowhere to go except uh, going to uh, upward to h5 and uh, white cannot do anything but giving some checks black kings goes forward and black kings is uh, marching forward to promote itself to a queen perhaps and at this position you may think that okay it is done you can uh, it is finished there is no more check you can just have perpetual check like uh, bishop um, g2 and then bishop f3 yes of course we can have a perpetual check but this is not what white is looking for white is looking for a mate checks the black king and king goes up and then actually here black resigned but I just want to show you continuation then continues checking the black king and um, what do you do do you capture the rook then you will get um, weighted brutally by a bishop that's crazy I hope you enjoyed bye